So I have a whole bunch of Brazilian pepperwood here on the table. Now, most of it was left over from the last project that I did. Although there was some pieces that I had somewhere else that still weren't dry at the time I started the last project and they felt dry this morning. So I brought them over here and I put them on the table. So now I have a whole bunch of pieces to work with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start moving some of these pieces around and see if I can come up with the design that I'm excited about building. Something I try to keep in mind as I'm working on my art pieces is that sometimes less is more. Now it's really tempting with all these pieces I have available to want to try to throw as many pieces as I can at the art piece. But the more I try to add pieces to what I've got right here, the less I like it. So what I've got right here, I really like, even though it's really simple. So it's just important as I'm building these pieces to always remember that sometimes having less pieces is actually better than having more pieces. I see.
It's the fire in the rain It's the smile within the pain It's the logic but insane You cannot know from where it came It's the way you cross the floor Before you head on out the door It's the figure on the wall So many times I hear the call silence of the room The way you turn before you bloom Another shadow for the blind Think I'm gonna lose my mind Although I'm running up the hill I feel I'm always standing still Remember where I've been I don't know where I should be Full of fear It's not the way it's meant to be We should be happy Living free Although I'm running up a hill I feel I'm always standing still mm, Can't remember
So one of the things that I like to do at the end of my videos before I talk about the art is I like to make sure my hair looks good. Now, I've been wearing my hat all day, so I might have a bit of hat head going on right now. And I definitely don't want my hair to look out of place. You know what I mean? Because this is the last time on this video that you guys are gonna see me. So I wanna look my best. And I don't have a mirror in front of me. So I just kind of go by how it feels. There, that feels just about right. So I just swallowed a bug. Did you see that? So one of the hardest things about building this art piece for me was resisting the urge to add more pieces to it. I had a lot of wood on the table when I started the layout on this one, and I really wanted to use a whole bunch of pieces. And I know that I talked about this at the beginning of the video too, or near the beginning of the video, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit. But, you know, by holding back and making the art piece smaller, there's actually a lot of advantages to that. And one of the main advantages for me, in my house anyway, is finding a wall to hang it on. Now, with an art piece like this, it's no problem. But once I start making my art pieces much bigger, then it can be much more difficult to find a wall to hang the art on. A lot of times I have to take one of my older pieces down and hang up the new pieces. But with a small piece like this, I should definitely be able to find a place to hang it inside my house. So I'm really looking forward to that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on it and take a closer look at it. Take my hand and lead even when I disagree 